Maybe I should raise my rates. Hey guys, this is Luke from MGN, and I just want to take some time to go through what we've created on MGN for Dark Deity, the game Dark Deity. It's a strategical RPG that came out recently, and we've put together a what we'd like to call a game manual or player guide. It's got little bits and pieces in, in there as well, um, and it's something that you could compare to maybe the um, little booklet that came in game cases a couple of years ago uh, that we don't really see anymore, or something in between there, like a Prima guide, you know, thick guidebooks that you used to be able to buy that don't make anymore um, all on Dark Deity and it's all available on the MGN.gg blog I'm going to give you a quick overview now of what you can expect from the Dark Deity guide um, and that's sort of a window on what you can expect from MGN in general really we've got a new game coming out from Freedom Shortly in Dreamscaper and we're going to be covering it, covering it pretty comprehensively as well as we did with Dark Deity if you're unfamiliar with the game, go check out our other content on it. There's plenty of YouTube videos that we have. You know, we've got class overviews on all the classes. We've got bits and pieces. We've even got a, a, a tutorial as well. So check all that out. As far as the game manual and player guide, we've got like a little introduction that goes over what you can expect and what you're here for. But in general, if you just have picked up Dark Deity and you want to get the most out of the experience, We'll give this a read beforehand or even during your playthrough and you will get the most out of your game time. So we've got stats and how they translate into advanced stats. Advanced stats are what decide the result of combat basically. Um, so you can get a description of every single stat and how that gets calculated into your advanced stats, what they mean. They can be a little complicated and they've got formulas that work out how combat will result. So if you're curious about them, you want to learn a bit more beyond what's available in the game itself, well come check out our player guide and game manual and then you'll know exactly what everything does as far as turning stats, which are up here, into advanced stats which decide how combat plays out. Beyond that we have base stats and growth range. So base stats are what your characters come with, the stat levels that they come when you recruit them, and their growth rates affect how they will get stats in the future. Every time you level up, you have a percentage chance to gain in a stat, and if you want to know what that percentage is for every character and every class and how you can work out what your chances are getting a statistic is, well, we have all the growth rates for every single class, every single promotion, and every single character in the player guide or game manual. You'll know absolutely everything there is to know about stats and growth rates. Next is weapon types. There is a, a unique mechanic for Dark Deity in how weapons are handled and how weapon, not crafting, but maybe advancement is handled as well. It can be a little intimidating to new players, so we go over the four different weapon types, what upgrading them does, and you know, which which weapon does what basically you know you read for power critical accuracy weight but we go a bit more in depth with what you can build your characters around these specific weapon types which ones that you should be investing with with each character and the statistics for absolutely every single weapon type in the game but not only that also the promotions that you can give to your weapons with weapon tokens we have the statistics of every single weapon in the game so if you want to know whether investing in a specific weapon type for a specific character is worth it well you're going to know the benefits because we outline everything here for you lances hammers every single spell is here as well we have axes we keep going down there's bows so if you have your range of characters and you're trying to decide between you know swords and bows which weapon tokens are going to be more worthwhile spending on we have that as well and the mages don't miss out 
uh, weapons, spells, you can call them either way, but we have the statistics for every single one of them so that you can decide and plan the builds for your characters in advance and you can also include the weapon tokens that you need to spend or that you want to spend to take your characters to where you want them to be. It's very comprehensive and it has everything that you would want to know. Next, while Dark Deity doesn't really have a weapon triangle, but it does have a variant of that in the fact that you have the advantage and disadvantage system. You've probably seen the little green up arrows and the little red down arrows. We go through that advantage system in depth and then you can know how to manipulate it to your advantage. All the statistics are here. It's everything that if you're struggling, especially on the harder difficulties, it's everything you're going to need to get through any level. Doesn't matter what difficulty you're playing on or what level it is, you're going to know how to manipulate the enemy and yourself to always have an advantage. Also includes links for all of our warrior class, ranger class, cleric, mage, rogue, and adept overviews so you can learn about the promotions, the damage types, and armor types so that you can figure out placement on a map for your units, which units you should be taking into particular maps, and everything like that. Next we have Eternal Aspects, and they are the one of the defining factors of Dark Deity and part of the game that makes it so unique to other strategic RPGs. They're basically artifacts that dramatically change how a unit performs. There are a lot of them, and they can come fast and furious, so it can be a bit intimidating deciding which ones are right for which units. Well, if, if you don't know what they are, if you're curious about what they are and you haven't finished the game yet, or you want to plan a build and you need that data, guess what? All that is here too. You want to plan a character specific build, you don't know what items to equip them with, every single one of them are here so that you can know which ones will be best suited for your units. We also go through some aspect suggestions. So not only do we have them all, but some ways to use some of the better ones and which characters they align well with. They're all here with some recommendations as well as probably the most broken and overpowered build in the game centered around Monroe. If you want to read it, well check it out on MGN because that build is insane. Next we go through the difference between default and class skills on which units, you know, what, what default skill they start with, what lines you can take them down to get specific class skills and the difference between the two. And then we give some build suggestions. So there are a lot of different builds that you can put together in Dark Deity with how many classes and different promotions there are. The sheer number of different builds that you can get is enormous. So we go through some A, simple ones, and B, effective ones, and a little of both too, so that you can get started with planning characters to reach their maximum potential. You can play through Dark Deity on the easier difficulties with a bit of ad lib, making it up as you go, but if you want to get the most out of your experience and really push yourself to have the best units that you possibly can, especially on Deity difficulty to make the game a little easier for you, well, we've got some builds here to help you do that. Some things that you can work towards because now you have all the knowledge and you know just how powerful units can be when you build them correctly. The last point about the game manual player guide is the different item types. We go through all the items that are available in the game, their prices, what they do, what their differences are. You've got the healing items here, stat boosting items, and that's it. So if you're curious about basically any part of the game and you want to read about it or you want some more base knowledge so that you can get more experience playing Dark Deity, getting better at it and really tackling the Deity difficulty, well check out our game guide, player manual, whatever you want to call it, it's just got about everything that you would ever need for Dark Deity. Thanks for checking the video out.